Welcome back to the Legacy Podcast. My name is Alicia Grant, co-founder of The Matrix Legacy. We are back for episode number 17. This is the show where we create a blueprint for success. We look for ways to create generational wealth, and we break those chains of a poverty mindset. Now, on today's episode, there is numerous things that triggered this one, but I really want to talk today about the importance of being your own biggest supporter. Now, we're in a stage where a lot of the validation that we seek for if we're if we're on the right track or if we're being successful is the number of likes that we have or the amount of followers or the number of subscribers and we really get wrapped up in that and that was really evident to me recently when I, I had a few people hop in my direct messages and I love by the way I love when people reach out to me I absolutely love connecting with new people it's the most exciting thing hearing about somebody's story hearing that something that I did had some kind of impact on your journey I love all of that stuff so I had somebody reach out to me on Instagram basically saying listen I love your content I stumbled on it last night um, you know hit me at the right time the right place and I just appreciate all that you're doing I was just shocked that you didn't have that many views or that many subscribers and I think that it's because um, you know, you're speaking the truth and a lot of people don't want to hear the truth. And for me, although I understand where she was coming from in regards to saying, you know, I was surprised you didn't have that many views or whatever. I believe that the amount of views is very subjective. You know, a, a lot of us are hoping for those hundreds of thousands or those millions. But if I have a consistent, let's say it's just 50 people. Let's say 50 people consistently, let's break it down even more. Let's say 10 people consistently tap in and, and receive value from whatever project that you're working on. If it's a piece of content that you put on social media, if it's something that you just released and only 10 people tune in to see it. Do you know how major that is? Because each of those 10 people definitely know more than just 10 people. And so just think about the impact or the chain reaction. You changed 10 people's lives. And because they're a better person or because they're on a better track, now those people are going to go inspire their own social circles. And it goes on and on and on until infinity. You don't even know how far your messages are traveling. And so I'm not concerned with vanity metrics. And I, I understand and I appreciate that. I take that as a compliment, um, what she had mentioned. But the way that I see it is I'm more concerned about the impact than the views. And because I'm more concerned about the impact, it makes it easier for me to become my own biggest supporter. Because if I get wrapped up in what other people are doing or who's not watching, I, I lose track of who's actually paying attention and who's actually taking value and applying these things that I've learned so they don't have to go make their own mistakes and, and go and figure it out. Now, if I spend my time concerned about the people who are not paying attention, what that means is that I have an expectation that others are going to do something. Others are going to tune in. Others are going to take action. And one of the hardest lessons that I've had to learn over and over and over, I don't know about y'all, but sometimes you got to hit your face on the floor a couple times before you wake up and realize that as soon as we have expectations of other people, you've immediately put yourself in a position of disappointment. And what I mean by that is I'm, I'm in the business where I have to talk to a lot of people. A lot of people make empty promises to me that I've very quickly learned. Follow what people do, not what people say. We'll say whatever we can in the moment either to get out of the situation, to move on to the next topic, to get out of an uncomfortable situation. We'll say whatever we can. Even if it's a blatant lie, it's really just human nature. We, we don't want to be uncomfortable. So we'll say whatever we think the other person wants to hear in order for them to just leave us, let, let us be. And when it comes to support, there's a phrase that they say, do unto others as you would like done unto you, right? And our parents teach you that. You be nice and people will be nice to you. Unfortunately, that's not the way that it works. And I think that's why we always end up disappointed because we expect that if we're going to give and we're going to support and we're going to tune in, we're going to like, subscribe, share our friends' content, go to their book launches, be present at whatever presentations or whatever, purchase whatever things that they have going on. We expect that we've done so much to support others that is there should just come back and do the same. But that's not how it works. 
Some people are just not built that way, and that's okay. But it's only okay if we do not set expectations for other people. And this ties right into, you know, when you decide to take your life to the next level, take your business to the next level, take your relationships to the next level. Just because you've decided to grow doesn't mean that the people around you are going to want to grow as well. And, you know, once you get that taste of success and you start seeing that you're on the right path, all you want to do is share that experience and share that feeling with other people. But you got to think to yourself, well, it took me, let's say, let's say you're 30 years old. Let's say you're 25 years old. It took you 25 years to figure out your path. It took you 25 years, 30 years, 40 years to decide to take action and move on to the next level. So what makes you think that your best friend, your family, that colleague should make the same decision as you when you got to do it on your own time? We have to allow people to do things on their own time and stop being so concerned with their perception of us or what they're doing for us or if they're supporting us and just be more focused in on exactly what it is that we're doing. We can't expect other people to be up and ready when we're up and ready because it's not their time. So that's another, th these, <laughs> these little lessons is always just tie right into each other. So do not expect something from somebody just because it's what you would do. I read a quote on social media this week where it said, stop expecting you from others. And that really just stuck with me because it is very true. Just because you will do something doesn't mean that other person has to do that same something. And other people's actions and other people's decisions have absolutely nothing to do with what we are doing, what we are building. And I've been in this situation so many times where I keep running into the same type of person where, you know, I will give everything. I will support their business. I will show up at all their events. I'll be, you know, whatever I get in the word out, whatever I could do to support. And because I've done so much, I expect the same in return. And then when I turn around and say, hey, here's my hand, can you help me up? They're nowhere to be found. And I would keep going into a, de into a state of devastation because it's like, how could you? I can't believe that you wouldn't help me up after all that I've done for you. And the thing is, they never set that expectation for me. I set that bar for myself and said, here is my standard of what I expect from me to be to a friend. But I can't put my expectations on somebody else. And now as I'm slowly, painfully slowly, but surely starting to realize that, it makes it so much less of a shock when people don't show up for me. And it's, it's really not a bad thing because I've learned how to be my own supporter. I've learned how to pat myself on the back once in a while and, you know, have my own self-talk and have my own back. Because that's all you have at the end of the day. You go to bed with yourself, with your thoughts, with your decision, not those decisions of other people. And so really taking those times to celebrate your own wins. Don't expect your friends to invite you out just because you, you know, graduated or launched your business or whatever. Take yourself out. Go to the movies by yourself. Go to dinner by yourself. I know those things sound uncomfortable, but at the end of the day, you really got to be your own best friend. Because if you're waiting on other people to support you in the way that you want to be supported, you're going to be waiting a very, very long time. We got to take those moments to really hype ourselves up and celebrate our own wins. And that doesn't make us cocky. That doesn't mean that we're arrogant. What that means is we are wise and confident in our own abilities. And we know what it's going to take to continue to grow those abilities. So I'll be having many celebrations for myself. If I reach my goals for the week or whatever that looks like, I might turn on some music and do a little dance. I might eat something I know I shouldn't eat just because that's my reward to myself. I might just take the afternoon to relax because I feel like I deserve it. And that's my own celebration. So anybody else who comes to me in celebration or in congratulations or in acknowledgement for the work I've done, that is a bonus. And so... If you are finding yourself stuck because the people around you don't support you, it's because you don't support yourself enough. You don't even have time to notice that the people around you are supporting you if you have your own back in the way that you should. Doing it for yourself 
is how you serve others. And as you serve others, you will attract other people who also want to serve others. And then that is where you get the support. And that's where you start building that, that community, that, those real close and valuable relationships that will truly take you to the next level. But having expectations of other people is a setup for a letdown. So the building block of the day is really don't give your power away by seeking acceptance and validation from others. Who cares if you've only got five likes on your page? That's five people who related to what you just said. That's five people who got their fix of motivation for the day. And because they're motivated for the day, maybe the closest five people to them are also going to be motivated for the day. Don't get caught up in these vanity metrics and, and hoping that just because you have more followers, more likes, more whatever, that that makes you more of who you're supposed to be. If we're constantly seeking validation from others and we're constantly having expectations of other people, we're giving away valuable energy and effort and time and concentration to things that we have absolutely no control over. We have got to be our own biggest supporter, our own best friend in order to reach the levels that we're hoping to reach for ourselves. It cannot come from somebody else. And so that little quote that I saw, that's really what I want to leave you with the most today is stop expecting you from other people. Just because you've made a decision to grow and take the leap and really bring yourself to another level doesn't mean your best friend is your or your your best friend is is ready to do that same thing. And we have to let people get to where they're going in their own time. Because you got to where you were going in your own time. You, you can't explain when when we decide to make that switch. We can't explain what happens. We just know that it's happened. And, and that's where we get motivated. And that's where we start running. There's nothing we can do to explain it. It's just we made that decision in that time. So we've got to give other people the chance to make their own decisions in their own time. And we need to stop seeking validations and stop placing our own expectations on other people. So we stop letting ourselves down and getting into a rut because we were hoping that somebody else would be there for us the way we were there for them. You've just got to be there for yourself. So that's all I've got for the day. I know that was a short and sweet one. Um, if this helped anybody, go ahead and like, share, comment. Send this to a friend. It all helps more people receive the same message. I will be here next week with another building block for success. Until next time, let's build a legacy.